Hey, my name is Cherry Strange. I'm the author of both the Uversion plan and the book, Can You See Me Now? Good News for the Left Out, Lonely, and Less Than. What I wanted to do is invite you into this reading plan by way of video. I wanted to give you a little bit of bonus material to get us into the subject matter and to kind of walk through it together. I pray it's a blessing to you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for reading. And I look forward to the journey we will share together. If you have ever felt left out of the group, unwelcomed or alone in a crowd, you just found your tribe. If friends or colleagues tend toward ignoring you in conversations or people pass you over, look no further. There is solace here, but let's get real. It's more than a few isolated incidents of being overlooked, isn't it? You know the emptiness of never being missed. Your world is passing you by without inviting you to come along. Maybe you have even felt the humiliation of being, or at least wondering whether you might be, replaceable. A mere fixture, unnoticed, invisible. All these ponderings and experiences are fresh reminders that what you bring to the table is not relevant. You're not important. These experiences of being forgotten, completely alone and unseen, as if no one knows you well, are more universal than we know. But few of us approach the issue in a life-changing way. Instead, we deal with our pain in the short, like putting on a pretty new t-shirt. The new t-shirt, even one with the God-honoring message, will not alter my life or yours in any significant way beyond improving our mood for the day. Although Although I am for sporting the God-honoring visual, the visual is rarely life-changing. Something more is needed. Deep down, we know this. We know this like we know every good Christian girl should spend time alone with Jesus in prayer and reading her Bible every day. An age-old message, I know. Yet a large percentage of us simply don't comply. We might pray. Perhaps we fit it in while we're driving. Squeeze in five minutes with God or for the gold star. Sign up with the favorite Christian app for the verse of the day so we will have something spiritual to post on our social media profiles with the pretty background because visuals, these reminders and attempts are all good and encouraging. I'm for each one. I even write some of this positive vibe. To be honest, it's not life-changing. It has the same effect as wearing scripture on a pretty t-shirt. While these avenues serve their purposes. I'm fooling no one into believing sporting a God-honoring t-shirt makes me godly any more than posting a Bible verse of the day. Wearing a t-shirt is not transformational. It's simply cute. And this, my friend, is why you are here. You are looking for more than a God vibe aesthetic to remedy the hurt within. I know because it's where I found myself on a similar day. I too recognize my need for a remedy. Cute t-shirts were no longer fooling anyone, especially my new husband. I understood early in my married life the handsome man sharing the toothpaste believed he married a good Christian girl. My shortcomings in this arena sent me further into the deep recesses of the sidelines. Here I sat in all my inconsistencies consistency with the Lord, trying to hide my issues under God-honoring t-shirts and cuteness in front of the Bible major pastor I married. My efforts were as effective as you can imagine. Cunning shenanigans fooled no one. My t-shirt cover-up was a farce. In all the cuteness I could muster, I took my inconsistent self on a quest to find a solution, which landed me at our Christian bookstore. Well, 15 minutes later, I had my solution. I purchased a one-year Bible. Across 365 days and about 15-minute increments, I could cover the entire book. There were starting and stopping marks, all for the same price of a t-shirt, pretty or otherwise. Perfect! No more inconsistency. No more hiding in the side, afraid someone will discover my lack. I was on my way to becoming the girl I wanted to be. Well, I'd like to say I left my inconsistency and shortcomings behind, but I cannot. Failure ensued almost immediately and continued for close to a decade. Seems I'm comfortable sporting an inspirational appearance that runs no deeper than the cotton blend surface. What I really want to know is where you find yourself today. Are you weary of your efforts to be seen while settling for cuteness? Do you long to leave the loneliness you feel from being overlooked? Is your desire to be deeply known and loved? Are you ready to reject those wallflower notions that you are less than or better off left on the periphery? Do you want genuine transformation? If so, this is the place for you. But you can't go like that. You need a plan. True and lasting transformation sounds good and hope-filled, but it's never going to happen if you approach it willy-nilly. God never intended for you to feel worthless and overlooked. His will is not for you to shrink back and disappear. For your good, he provided a roadmap to enable you to be seen in your personality and beauty, not in the forced and obnoxious way. No, you have authentic, God-given standout potential. What you need is a plan, a biblical proportions to become conspicuous for all the right reasons and in all the right ways. May God use this tool, your time, and his word to take you on a journey from this day forward in which you will soon declare with your life, I am no longer invisible.